Molly is a folk song collector. He's a Dublin man born and bred who has always had a strong interest in traditional music. For 10 years now, he's been traveling to flas around the country, listening to music and learning and collecting songs. But what began as a feeling for traditional music has now become a way of life for Tommy. For now, his job is to find the songs which haven't been written down, the ones sung by generation after generation and passed from father to son. With Brandon Branagh under the auspices of the Department of Education, Tommy Manley is charged with the enormous task of gathering all these songs together and preserving them for posterity. Last week, Tommy's destination was Boyle, County Roscommon. Once the home of 12th century Cistercian monks, Boyle is now a prosperous town only a few miles from Loch Key, home of the famous Rockinghams, whose estate has now become an enormous forest park bordering the lake shore. But Boyle's prosperity has by no means put an end to its musical tradition. The area is still alive with music. It's best known perhaps for its flute players, but singers and fiddlers abound as well. Well, there's certainly a musical tradition. The areas like Ballyfarn and, and um, Gorchin, there's certainly a great deal of music to be found, music proper. But um, the reason why I'm so particularly fond of Boyle itself, there was a man living in Green Street a travelling man, a fellow by the name of John Riley, was probably the most learned man I have ever met in my life. Over a period of something like four years, I got literally hundreds of songs from the man. How, how do you choose a place to go to? Um, it depends. Sometimes the place will have a reputation beforehand. Sometimes I get a lead. Maybe I'm working with one singer who knows singers in other areas. Well, once you, once you get there, how do you go about finding the singers who have the good songs? You mean in an area where I, where I don't know anything? Yeah. Yes. Well, the pub is a great help in circumstances like that, because singing and music is naturally convivial. So you go into a pub, it, the ideal place, if people still do sing, singing being a social affair, you will, you will, they will be known in the pub, this is generally speaking. Well now, supposing you, you've found out there is a singer in a particular place, how do you approach that man? Do you just go along to his house? Well, first of all, I go and explain to him what exactly it is we're doing. Yeah. And then I try and ask him, you know, would he mind parting with his material? But uh, if, if, I, if I can implant in his mind the desire to part with his, with his material, because some people can be very possessive, other people want to see the material preserved. Hello, sir. How are you, sir? Would you, would you be Michael O'Reilly? Yes, yeah, sir. Well, do you know the, um, what's their name? The McDonald's and Green Street in Boyle? Uh, yes, sir. Um, I collected quite a few songs from them. They told me that you were that you had a lot of old songs. I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm from the Department of Education. Yes, sir. And I'm collecting old songs in the area. Yes, sir. I was wondering, would you mind singing one or two for me? Yeah? I, I definitely will, certainly, sir. OK. Well, I mean, I'm not a very good singer. But well, as I said, it's not really the old the singers that we're after. Would you be able to sing one now? Uh, yes, sir, I will. OK. Just down. OK. It's... Any time that you're going through these songs, and don't be worried about this yoke at all. Uh, uh, yes, I know. Take that. your time. If you stop, if you want to stop the thing, just, just stop and, and think about it. Ah, uh, yes. No? Now, uh, what other songs like that do you have at all, Michael? Well, I have um, John Riley as my true love's name near, near, near the town of Bray. Aye, Riley the Fisherman. Ah, uh, yes. Aye. Any other ones like that at all, And um, James McCull was hunting one day with all his hounds. Ooh, the old oak tree. Ah, uh, yes. That's a very fine song the altogether. Old tree. The old oak tree. Aye. Where did you get most of your songs yourself? Well, I have them all off the heart, so. Yeah, but I mean, who did you learn them from? I learned them off my father and mother, a lot of them. Um, do they, have, do they have many songs? Ah, they had a lot of songs, sir. A lot more than songs that I don't know. I picked up some of them, but there's an awful lot more that I, uh, in fact, don't know that I have. Mm -hmm. Is there many people that you know around here that, that sing nowadays at all? Well, uh, there, there is quite a, quite a few of them. I have a cousin, John Riley, he's down at Sligo, now, second cousin. Oh, yes. yes. 
he, he sings the all the old songs to us, all the old songs he has. Mm -hmm. Is there much singing goes on nowadays at all? Do you do much uh, singing or is it mainly... I see you have a transistor radio there, do you mainly listen to the radio? Uh, let's listen <laughs> mostly to the radio, sorry. Uh, but yeah. is, 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 um, for instance, I believe in the, in the days gone by, there used to be a lot of singing around the fire at night. Uh, that's right, so they used to, sir. That was the whole old happy long ago, years but ago. How, how, how long ago or do you still do it as uh, well? That would be around about 35 years ago. Now, from 35 years ago, back behind that, and mm -hmm. for the slash 35 years, it's gone down a bit. Well, we'll say 30 years, and it was gone down for 30 years. Um, the old penny ballads, did, were they ever sold around here at all? Uh, yes, they were. They were sold in there in Dumshambo Town. How Town. long is it since you saw that? Well, um, it will be uh, last one to seen it to be around twenty five years ago. Twenty five years, years ago. Penny ballads or so. Did you learn many songs from the penny ballads yourself? Well, at all? in fact, I, I didn't learn any of the ballads. I cannot read so them. They're just off the heart. Okay. Well, do you want to have a go with Lord Bateman? Uh, yes, I'll have a try at it. That's so. fair enough. Then. Near was a lord of a high degree, and he says strange countries he'd go out and see. Oh, for he rode as now, and he rode was now, and shall he your eye of didn't oh, bear turkey. Tommy has a way with the singers he talks to. He knows the people of an area and their way of life just as well as he knows their music and their songs. In the two years he spent with the Department of Education, Tommy Monolly has collected over 2,000 songs all over the country. It began as, a, as an individual interest in it, but the, the importance in collecting the songs for the department and for, well, for posterity, essentially, mm -hmm. because for instance, that singer we heard, Michael Riley, that song he sang, Lord Bateman, that, the, the tale itself goes back as far as the Crusades. The ballad has been sung for God knows how long. This has been passed on orally all the time, from father to son, from father to son, and so on and so on, until we get to the stage where, well, we don't know if it's going to last anymore. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is why it's so important to get them now. What would you define as folk songs, or what kind of songs are you looking for? Well, essentially, folk song are the songs people sing, the songs people pass on orally, the songs that are made within a local environment. Well, who do you get the songs from? Well, you can get them from all sorts. You can get them from travelling people. I got some, uh, one man who was a solicitor sang quite a few for me. Farmers, fishermen, there's, mm -hmm. there's no particular cross-section. You've been collecting songs now for about 10 years on and off. What sort of a feeling do you get about the tradition at this stage? Um, well, essentially, I began just to, uh, as a, with an interest in the songs to listen. But now, having, after about three or four years, I, I became convinced, well, it was no, no great deal of original thought on my behalf, that these songs are dying. They are dying very rapidly, and we don't get the... We, the, oral, the oral tradition is drying up with the advent of radio and television.